And now, with the plan for a semiconductor megacluster unveiled, our Yi Soo-jin explains its significance and what else needs to be done amid heated global race for chips. South Korea is gearing up to become number one in the global semiconductor industry. The world's largest chip production base, located in southern Gyeonggi-do province, will bring together chip equipment manufacturers, fabulous chip producers, and R&D labs. By 2047, the mega cluster will have 13 chip production plants and three research facilities through investment amounting to 622 trillion won, or around 470 billion U.S. dollars, from private companies such as Samsung Electronics and SK Hynix. By 2030, the aim is to produce 7.7 .7 million wafers, the base material for the chip manufacturing process, per month. And production of cutting-edge memory semiconductor technology, such as high-bandwidth memory and sub-2 nanometer processor chips, will also be possible at this base. What benefits can this singular large manufacturing base bring? The government is trying to stabilize the semiconductor ecosystem, and this is a strategy to become number one in both the memory and non-memory sectors before other advanced nations. South Korea, a major player in the global memory chipmaker sector, has been trying for years to expand its presence in the non-memory sector as it makes up a significant portion of the semiconductor market. The same experts said that becoming a forerunner in the non-memory sector will ultimately help stabilize the nation's semiconductor supply chain, also boosting the nation's overall economy as chips are South Korea's largest export item. But there are a lot of things to do until the mega cluster is up and running. It's important to create a comprehensive solution where we don't just focus on attracting not just international firms, but also domestic small and medium-sized enterprises, especially those in the chip material, parts and equipment sector. The expert added that SMEs in the chip industry are also capable of providing the necessary infrastructure and expertise. Lee Soo-jin, Arirang News.